Hi guys, it's John here, and this is a benchmark comparison test between the Galaxy S22 Ultra series, the Galaxy S23 Ultra, the Galaxy S24 Ultra, and the Galaxy S24 Plus. So you can see here on the far left, we have the Exynos 2200 variant of the S22 Ultra. Next to it is its brother running the 8 Gen 1. Then we have the S23 Ultra with the 8 Gen 2, S24 Ultra with the 8 Gen 3, and the S24 Plus with the Exynos 2400. So we're gonna run through the usual benchmark comparisons here with Geekbench and 22 and 3 Mark, along with a browser a benchmark to finish. And we're just going to compare the results to last month. So starting off with the Geekbench results, overall it's a decrease on everything except for the S24 Ultra, which had a very nice 10% increase on its single core compared to last month. So it is the overall winner with the Geekbench CPU results here. Okay, moving on to the Geekbench GPU now, and we can see that the only one that's actually had an increase this month is the Exynos 2400 with a score of 16,384, which beats the S24 Ultra quite easily. And it's almost twice as good as the S23 Ultra, but is certainly definitely twice as good as the Exynos 2200, as you can see. So these are all running the April updates, but we don't have the 6.1 update on the S22s yet. So sadly, but we're going to move on to Geekbench ML now, which is testing the AI capabilities of the phones. Just a very small increase on the S24 Ultra and the S24 Plus this month, with the S24 Ultra winning both the CPU and NN API tests, and the 2400 winning the GPU test again, which is the same as it did last month. Right, moving on to the Antutu benchmark test now, and pretty much the same scores as last month, except a small increase on the S24 Ultra and the S22 Ultra Exynos edition, but yeah, nothing too exciting there. Obviously, the S24 Ultra is still winning by a comfortable margin. Right, so we're just moving on to our 15-minute Antutu stress test now. And we're going to see how our CPUs do this month with this April update. As you can see here, starting from left to right, the 2200, very similar to last month, doing pretty well. Or the 2200 there, staying at around 70% performance throughout most of the test. Moving on to the HN1, and again, a normal picture here for the HN1. Performance wise, looking around the same as last month with the CPU cores also looking around the same. And I'm very pleased to see that the S23 Ultra is still doing fantastically here. Look at its performance here, running at around 90% average, at least I'd say throughout the majority of the test with those cores running at their respective speeds all pretty much locked to what they should be. S24 Ultra though is the same disappointment as last month. As you can see, look at that performance. We're going down to about 50% performance after the first three or four minutes of the test. That's really very poor where the clocks get put down to about two gigahertz, which is very, very disappointing indeed. The 24 Plus here with the Exynos 2400 doesn't look too bad. It starts really well actually at the start of the test here going at about 80% performance. It does then drop down after about five or six minutes down to around 70 to 75% performance for the rest of the test. And you can see here the cores also drop down to around two gigahertz, which is what we can see happening on the S24 Ultra as well. But overall, I'd say the S24 Plus has performed better performance wise compared to the S24 Ultra. Okay, we're gonna move on to the 3 d Mark test now, and we're gonna start off with the Wildlife Extreme Stress Test here. We're just running this once this month. And you can see here with the final scores that the S24 Ultra has beaten all phones with the best and lowest loop, pretty much doubling the Exynos 2200 scores there and a nice increase over the S23 Ultra. The S24 Plus isn't too far behind, just a few hundred points in the lowest loop, but about 700 points in the best loop. But it is slightly more stable, but again, not a massive amount between them, but enough that the S24 Ultra wins quite comfortably. Right, moving on to Slingshot Extreme now and some quite interesting results here. The S24 Ultra has lost in almost every test now compared to the 3 at 1 last month. And the S23 Ultra is actually beating it now in graphics test 1 with a score of 107.42 compared to the S24 Ultra's 105.38. More interesting though, however, is the fact that the S24 Plus with its 2400 has actually now taken the win here in Slingshot Extreme overall because it's won three of the five tests. That's graphics test 2 and physics tests part one and two. So the only one that the S24 Ultra won this month is physics test part three. Right, we're gonna move on to the browser bench now. And we can see here that the throne of web browsing has been stolen from the S24 Ultra and been given back to the S23 Ultra here, with a score of 205. That's a big decrease there for the S24 Ultra of nearly 17.5%. Have a look at the S24 Plus. Although it has had a small decrease since last month, we're still at over 200 points there for the Exynos 2400, which is now beating the S24 Ultra, which again is quite interesting when you compare the results to last month where the S24 Ultra was winning quite comfortably with over 231 points. 
Okay, so now we're going to move on to the Solar Bay Extreme Stress Test, and we are going to leave the 8 Gen 1 out of this because it cannot do these tests, but we can test on the 2200, 8 Gen 2, 8 Gen 3, and the Exynos 2400. Okay, and amazing results here for the Exynos 2400 in the 24 Plus. It's beating both the S24 Ultra and the S23 Ultra in this test, which is quite surprising really, with a score of 8,581 for its best loop and its lowest loop 5610. So its best loop has actually improved since last month. Lowest loop has gone down slightly, as has the stability, and the overall stability does go to the S23 Ultra with 78.5%. But yeah, look at those scores on the S24 Plus, really quite impressive indeed. So looking at the total number of wins here in the test, the S24 Ultra is still the winner with four out of the eight tests, but the S24 Plus has now won three of the tests, which is quite substantial. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next video.